I think if you want to be an entrepreneur, you've got to be a risk taker. You've got to want to go where people haven't been um, and, and establish yourself so that by the time people catch up with you, you're already halfway down the finish line or halfway down the pool. I would like to think that in most, most scenarios where I've jumped, I've been able to swim and get to the other side. Coffee shops were not popular. Um, what was popular then were more spots, like people would set up a few chairs behind their house, uh, sell beers, sell kebabs. That was sort of what was popular. Um, and of course, you had the top hotels and restaurants still doing their business, but um, you know, you didn't have like the coffee shop concept of like a small cozy area where people could get a tea or a coffee in. Ghanaians at that time were not coffee drinkers. They were more into the beers, the soft drinks, stuff like that. Um, what's changed now is that we have a generation who went to school abroad, uh, went to Starbucks every morning and made a choice to come back home. So I think that's one of the differences, my generation and the generation before went abroad and didn't come back. But there's this young generation who go to school and come back. But they come back with certain tastes and, you know, certain lifestyle, um, you know, mannerisms, and it's sort of tied in very nicely with what I was doing. So yeah, it took a while for it to catch up. But when it did, we kind of have been on a roll since then. Um, I'm not somebody who enjoys cooking. And that surprises people when I say that. But I like what food does for people and I like how you can present food so it looks beautiful and makes people want to eat it. So um, there's always an element of creativity in any business. You either see it or you don't. And I think you're successful when you see it because even as a space where people eat, you have to be constantly reinventing the space and yeah? using colors and using furniture and using images, art to create interests and to, to excite people and to make them want to be there. So I think it, it ties in for me with everything I do. I think my creative gifts ties in. It's important to be consistent and to pursue excellence, especially in an environment where when you pursue excellence, you're seen as difficult or too known or just, you know, not a flexible person and sort of stay in that path irrespective of how people may perceive you. I think I've always pursued excellence and that's sort of been my saving grace in the last 20 years. I, I, I just turned 50 and for me it's a whole new direction. Um, my focus now is how do I impact the next generation? How do I empower them? How do I share my ideas? How do I leave a legacy of people? because it's not about money or property, it's about making a difference in people's lives so that they can continue um, to the next generation and also impact the next generation. So